Okay, now in this demo, we're going to take a look at user account control. Uh, so we're going to we're in uh, we're going to click on the start button there, and we're going to go to control panel. User account control was one of those things that uh, uh, was very annoying in the past. It's going to be under the system and security section of uh, control panel. You know, it still could potentially be. Uh, annoying. However, we've got a little bit better methods of control here. So I'm going to click change user account control settings. In Windows Vista, basically you were only allowed to uh, turn it off. You know, you could go in to the local policy and make some changes, but those are a little bit more complex uh, and your standard everyday users uh, may not have been able to get in there and make those, those happen. Uh, and still, it was going to, it, those settings were essentially whether or not it notified you. So the point of user account control is so that code doesn't execute in the background without you knowing about it. Files aren't downloaded, uh, viruses aren't running, Trojan horses aren't collecting information or at least installing themselves. So Windows said, hey, I'm going to notify you every time something tries to make a change to your computer. And I'm even going to notify you, and here's the fault. When you try to make a change to the computer, just because I want to make sure that it's actually you trying to make the change to the computer. Okay, so here we see the new user account control settings. We, we essentially have four settings. We'll go up to the top, and that's always notify you when programs try to install software or when I make changes uh, to Windows settings. Okay, then we have notify me only when programs try to make changes don't notify me when I make changes to Windows settings that's the default that's the best really uh, in most situations it is going to pop up every time a, a program installation happens but if you go into control panel and you click around for instance like I just clicked anywhere with the shield it's not going to prompt me uh, to continue well again user account control very good idea not really well thought out in Windows Vista. Um, probably best that we just leave it at the default. But if that still uh, still annoys you, then we can say we want to notify only when programs try to make changes. And the only difference really here is that it's not going to dim the desktop. Dimming the desktop was a security method to make it so you couldn't select anything else uh, other than, uh, excuse me, other than to proceed with the installation okay so that th those two are very similar and then down here to completely turn it off which of course is not uh, not recommended by Microsoft all right so I'm gonna leave it at the default setting but just the ability to segregate me making changes versus programs making changes really is a big deal and that should make user account control uh, usable uh, I think in most situations now I want to take a look, and we could spend all day in Control Panel. Uh, not a, you know, not a ton of differences uh, in here. Uh, do want to mention a couple of things: BitLocker Drive encryption in the Business and Ultimate versions. Business Enterprise and Ultimate versions now supports flash drives. That's really a great uh, new enhancement. Uh, there's the App Locker, which can allow you to control which programs can be run uh, on the local system. I'm going to take a look at my power options, being that I'm on a, a mobile computer, and go into uh, the plan settings. You know, we've got Power Saver. Essentially, this is going to be fairly similar, but if you didn't see Windows Vista, uh, then, it, you know, when do I dim the display? When do I turn it off? When do I put it to sleep? Uh, dim the display, I actually believe, is, is new. Okay, you can adjust the brightness of the screen, and then you can choose these different levels of, uh, of power saving. Okay, we're not going to show this message again. Okay, so, and as, as with Windows Vista, we've got this great breadcrumb navigation that allows me to just bounce back and forth uh, between these, these different areas. Okay, so, again, this is going to be the last of these demos here, and... I hope it's giving you a good view uh, with Windows 7 as to some of the new features. We certainly haven't touched everything. We've more hit the, these things from a, uh, from a usability uh, standpoint or from an end user standpoint. A lot of their navigation, uh, the libraries, 
the ability to control user account control. Personally, I've had Windows 7 since the betas. I took the plunge, installed the release candidate on my laptop. I have had nothing but positive things to say about it. And let me reiterate, I'm not being paid by Microsoft uh, to say that. I absolutely love Windows 7. I think it picks up where Vista fell down. Uh, and it will be uh, the, great, the next great operating system from Microsoft, the Windows family. My name is Patrick Lohner. It's been my pleasure to bring you these demos. Uh, hope you enjoy the new operating system. <music>